good morning uh, today we'll solve numerical on the thevenin's theorem the circuit is given to you in the circuit there are two voltage sources and you are required to find the current flowing through this eight ohm resistors by using the thevenin's theorem so whenever we find the current flowing through the any branch by using thevenin's theorem we have to open that resistors suppose now we have to find the current flowing through this eight ohm resistors we have to open this resistors and we have to find the thevenin's equivalent circuit uh, thevenin's equivalent resistance and we have to remove the uh, replace the voltage source by the short line or replace it by internal any internal resistance but there is no internal resistance is there therefore we can so this is 5 ohm 15 ohm this is 10 ohm this is 12 ohm now we have to find the resistance or where to view from this open terminals okay so this prime phase this with two resistance are in parallel therefore phi is parallel with 15 so phi into 15 divided by 5 plus 15 so 75 by 20 this is coming equal to 3.75 ohm and again this 3.75 is in series with the 10 ohm resistance therefore 13.75 ohm resistor and now this 13.75 is in parallel with the 12 ohm so that we can find rth now so rth can be now found 13.75 uh, in parallel with 12 ohm so this is we can find So this is coming equal to 6.40 ohm. So now next step is to find VTH. So VTH can be found. This is the five ohm, and this is the fifteen ohm, ten ohm, and this is the twelve ohm. Now current is flowing like this, I mean, and because of this current is flowing like this, I do so apply KVL to these two loops. Apply KVL. To first loop so four minus five five one four minus fifteen I one minus fifteen fifteen is equal to zero. So I one I one it is minus twenty I one minus fifteen I two this is equal to minus four okay or we can also we can also change this sign 20 i1 plus 15 i2 is equal to 4. this is equation number one Okay, now apply KVL to second loop. This is a second loop. We have to apply the KVL to the second loop. We are moving like this. So 
so six volt minus twelve I two minus ten I two or minus fifteen I two and minus fifteen I one is equal to zero. Therefore, this is minus fifteen I one. And this is a twenty five, thirty five, thirty seven. I two is equal to minus six. Uh, two again also change here sign. And this is your equation number two. Now multiply this equation one by. Multiply equation one by three and two by four. We get twenty fifteen four. So we get here sixteen i one plus fourteen three the forty five. Sorry, fifteen. Three hundred forty-five I two is equal to four three hundred twelve. Then we have to multiply the equation two by four. Four sixty I one plus one forty-eight I two. Is equal to like this. So we have to subtract these equations. So here it is coming minus one zero three i two is equal to minus two. And therefore, I two is equal to twelve upon one zero three. Answer is coming point one one six five ampere. Okay, now we can find here voltage now. This current we have found. We have got here. This ampere we have to find VTS here. This is twelve ohm resistor. This is a six ohm. Now we have to find the VTS line. Apply to here. So VTS is VTH uh, plus. Twelve into point one one six five minus six is equal to zero. Okay, so next is VTH is equal to six minus zero point seven four five six, and this is coming equal to five point two five four. Now we have got VTH. We can now draw the thermal equivalent circuit. VTH here is five point two five four volt. This is total volt we have got here six point four zero RTH, and this current we have to find. Current which is flowing through the eight ohm resistor. So RTH we have got here. RTH value we have got here six point four zero. So we have taken there six point four zero. Now we have to find the I that is current flowing through the circuit. That is a voltage divided by this total resistance six point four zero plus eight. This is coming equal to point three six ampere. So this is a required answer. The 
current flowing through the heat ion resistor by using the Thomas current. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.